are watching Jamaican News on YouTube, your number one place for local and international news about Jamaica. Now, remember to like the video, remember to share, comment, and subscribe to the channel for support and growth. With all of that said and all of that done, I'm going to jump into the intro, then I'm going to come back with one of my friends in. Welcome back my viewers and my subscribers, hope everybody doing good, hope everybody doing okay. Now my viewers and my subs, it's a beautiful day across Jamaica, you see it. Now while some are there to celebrate, some are not, some are mourning the loss of their loved ones. Make we kick it off right now, Zane. Now students who showed up at the Jonathan Grant High School tomorrow, carrying the backpacks with the word "Duns" printed on them, will be barred from classes. These are the words from a defiant principal, Dr. O'Neill Uncle. That's his warning. I'm about to comment on this and I know say you will get a whole heap of bashing, Zin. Yeah, me will get a whole heap of bashing on this. But I 100% support this. I don't care what anyone wants to say. And I wish all the school follow. In fact, I hope that the Ministry of Education come out and ban it. I don't understand how parents really buy bag like this, my viewers and my subscriber. How could you buy bags like this for your child or your children? Even though many of these kids, we're not gonna lie, are sending themselves back to school. Some of them, or most of them, are doing it through illicit gains and scamming that's where the school come in and that is why the principal of jonathan grant is doing what he's doing and i hope that all the school them across the island do the same thing and for the manufacturers who only see the profit and the many that going to say is just a word first word is power if it wasn't why listen to the pastor and motivational speaker why we all offended when someone tell we figure SU we mother? Are them offended when we tell them the same thing? And to the manufacturer, why you never brand the bag with something positive? Your morals are very low to capitalize on the low self-esteem of these students, making it feel like it's okay to be dunce. I completely denounce this brand of bag. Another thing my viewers and my subs that is happening in Jamaica space right now. Member of Parliament for East Kingston and Port Royal, Philip Powell, has confirmed that his 10-month-old child and her mother have been missing since Saturday morning. Mr. Powell say he is concerned over their disappearance and he is appealing for their safe return. A high-level investigation is underway into the disappearance. The woman and her child were last seen about 7.30 on Saturday morning. Paul will say it appears the two were adopted from their home. It is alleged that the child mother told a friend that she received a phone call from another woman earlier this week. That woman reportedly claimed the MP is also the father of her child. It is understood that the woman agreed to meet up at a point in Kingston Ten to discuss the problem both are having with the MP. So, something for me does not add up here. I want you to pay attention to this alleged piece of information said to be from one of Paulwell baby mother friend. It's alleged that the child mother told a friend she received a phone call from another woman earlier this week. That woman reportedly claimed the MP is also the father of her child. It is understood that the woman agreed to meet up at a point in Kingston 10 to discuss problems they are having with the MP. 1. We could say that there is a rift between Paulwell and his baby mothers and why she couldn't talk to the other baby mother over the phone. Why did they have to meet up? Anything could have said over the phone. Just recently, my viewers and my subs, he narrowly escaped being extorted by hackers. Could all these events link? I am not insensitive about the incident, but if what the friends say is true, I feel like everything is staged. 
Now, one of the eight inmates who escaped during a jailbreak on June 19 at the Black River Police Station lockup was captured at a bar in Buena Vista near Marysville on Saturday. He is Richard Brown, a resident of Middle Quarters in St. Elizabeth. Brown was charged with robbery with aggravation. Police sources say Brown was at the bar sometime after 5 p.m. when he was apprehended. The jailbreak, which caused widespread debate, resulted in a shakeup of the leadership of the St. Elizabeth Police Division. My viewers and my subscribers, please remember to like the video, share, comment, and subscribe for support and growth. I'm out.